guys i wanted to talk about what it took for me to get a 4.0 gpa um well really it's a 3.95 because i got an a minus online but here's the all the courses all the classes right here and then right here is all straight a's and then that a minus that got me that 3.95 right there and then uh, right here, this is a P for pass. That's the very last one for the OSHA. And then everything else, just field competencies. It's all P's for pass. Certifications, it's all P for pass. Uh, behavior assessment, uh, it's E for uh, exceed expectations. And then these are the electives too for Crane and Smart Grid. And they're also a uh, P for pass for all of them. So, um, just wanted to uh, make sure, I mean, not make sure, just have a understanding with all of you guys because I'm not bullshitting anyone. Um, so, these are all the courses that you will be taking. Um, that is CPNS, this is Career Planning and Strategies. All they do is talk about. Um, how to do uh, research, how to um, to make resumes, cover letters, how to even dress. They don't even do like mock interviews, how to present yourself, how to answer questions, how to prepare. Um, so these two books right here are very good to have. Um, a lot of people did not try on these and I feel like... Uh, those people are probably hurting because, I mean, yes, there's a lot of work out there, but, you know, you want a lot of callbacks, and that's the whole goal, and to get a good, well-paying job, and if you know how to do that, then, hey, good for you, man, but definitely, those two books are probably the easiest course that you will take, and take advantage of it, and, um, yeah, take it seriously because those are easy and you can get A's on it, no problem. Uh, these are the rest. Uh, transformers, rigging, metering, electrical grid 1, working on lines and equipment, electrical grid 2. These are all the courses. And then that right there, the electrical equipment and power delivery, that is the elective class for smart grid. So that's different, that's just an elective. And uh, I don't have a book for Crane, but that was also the elective as well. So study this, take the time, because to be honest, um, this is not easy. You know, this, it's a lot. Just on the rigging, you got more than 100 pages. And for all of these books, yeah, you're probably going to read about two to four chapters a week, and you'll have a test on Monday. So you have to be prepared. You have to put the time in, because you have school Monday through Thursday. And so when you have school Monday through Thursday, that doesn't mean take the day off on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And a lot of people did that. They went out and party. They went out to just hang out, went to the bar, or they just went to go hike, but nothing was done on those days and it's very important very important to take advantage of that time because you're gonna need it if you start falling behind especially on week one and week two when they're just going through the basics of what's a volt an amp you know the very basic stuff if you start falling behind by the time you get further into the semester, it's going to be so much harder because you're still on the basics and still trying to understand. And what I really recommend is that what I did, I actually took a basic fundamental electrical class at my community college. That's what I did. So I was, I was already... Um, I already had a good fundamental understanding. And once I got to school, the first week, second week, I was already ahead. I already knew the math that was going to come up. I already knew all the definitions, most of the definitions, and it wasn't too difficult. The only thing that was probably 
challenging to me was the rigging part. And there was a, there was a few, uh, yeah, there was a lot of math to it. So then, you know, you understand how much weight a rope can withstand. And there is formulas for that. And you need to know how to plug it in, use different variables, and how to come up with those variables. So, uh, I'm just saying, that's probably the best route for someone who wants to get into the school. Take a basic electric class and figure out what are some of the things you still need help with. Um, you're not going to be the master right after, right after you take that class. But I'm just saying, take it. Have a good understanding because the first and second week is accelerated so quick and so many people get left behind. And I feel bad for those people because really, I mean, it's really not too hard, but it can be very confusing. Very, very confusing. So I recommend going to your community college or take an online class or look at some YouTube videos on very basic stuff. I recommend going to community college first and until you start getting into the YouTube stuff or social media or whatever. That's my advice to you. You don't have to take it, but I, I really, really hope you do because a lot of people got left behind. And it's pretty sad when you get to the halfway of the semester and there, there's this big gym that you go into, you check in, and they have these announcements in the morning. And that, that building, that gym that you're always checking in every single morning, that gets empty. Once you get further and further along your semester, you get towards the end of graduation, that building on uh, how many people that started is going to look totally different on the last day of school. So, I, I recommend going to some basic class for electrical before you go. Just for you to get a good understanding on what you're, what you're going to get yourself into. So, that's my advice. And the Fridays, Saturday, and Sundays, take the time to actually... Um, get up in the morning, still wake up at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. and hit the books at around 9 or 10 a.m. and spend the whole day because that's what I did and I got a 4.0. And so I took the time and I read for hours, took plenty of breaks. I still ate throughout the day. And on top of that, I have these... Um, uh, they have these Zoom recordings for all of the classes. I took upon myself, when I went hiking or when I went to the gym, I was still listening to these lectures over and over again. Take the time to understand this material because the tests can be tricky. And they're not meant to be like that. It's just that if you studied, you'll know the answer. And that's all it really took. So... Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, if you need to, go out, but come home and study too. <laughs> um, I didn't really do that uh, near the end, near when it got to finals. That's probably when I started going out, and I only went out like twice. And it was just because finals, it's just review. And it's all cumulative. So you take the final at the very, very end of the semester. And it's just review. It's not going to be hard. It shouldn't be hard. And it shouldn't be new material either. If that is, you might be wanting to study a little bit harder. or Take more time into study. And this is not just something where, you know, you're able to learn right off the bat. I mean, like... Just by looking at this, I mean, like, nobody's going to know. You're not going to know what this is. All you know, it's just a bunch of scribbles, scribbles here and there, and then there's this little character. You don't even know. You know, it, it's difficult. It can be difficult. There's a reason why they have all of this. There's a reason why you need to study. Because this stuff is not easy. When it comes to someone like myself, who's coming from a healthcare, you know, field, and I never even looked at this before in my life. Like, yeah, this is, this is challenging. 
especially if I'm not taking the, you know, the amount of hours putting it in, you know, putting the, all that time in, you know, this is not an easy thing. So if you're expecting to just sit in Zoom class and then take the class, I mean, take the, the test on Monday and expect a C, you're not going to do well. I guarantee you, you won't. And you're probably going to get on probation and you're going to be put on probation and then you're still going to fail. And then you're going to be one of those people who just stop coming to college halfway through the semester. So really take the time to study. Put those hours in because like myself, I had two extra classes and I also had volunteer hours that you're able to do. And I did that for three weekends. So if you're able to do it, Put that time in it's gonna be well worth it and especially when you start having interviews it's gonna be well worth it I, I guarantee it because you're not you're gonna be well knowledgeable I'm telling you that right now it's gonna be well worth it so really take the time to study and for the CPNS this is good information, and there was a lot of people who actually failed this, even though it was the easiest thing out there on this whole semester. This was the easiest thing. Take it seriously. This is going to help you along the way when you're actually applying for jobs. These things actually help you how to do a cover letter, a resume, how to do research on a company, what to look for. You know, and it, it covers everything, even mock trials, you know, when you're doing interviews, they help you practice how to dress, how to look the part. So, you know, take that seriously, because a lot of people failed that. And I think that was so stupid, because that is probably the most easiest thing that you will ever take. So take the time, study, put those hours in, even on your day off. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Wake up at 6 a.m., hit the books by 9, and uh, it's going to be well worth it. When you go hiking, when you go to the gym, listen to these lectures. They're going to help you. Do the exercises that they have you do, and if there's something that you don't understand, speak up because you're not the only one that doesn't understand it. There's plenty of people. And if you happen to excel, help one of your brothers out because there's a lot of people struggling and they wish they had someone to just kind of help them because I did I helped out my roommate and he was able to get A's and B's he started at C's and B's but once we started hitting the books together yeah we started getting A's and B's all in his tests so it's well worth it and um that's all I have for right now and uh hit those books. Even if you have electives, you can do it. I know it's hard, but put the time in and you'll be fine. Take your time into it. See you later, guys.